Humans are unpredictable, said a Galthari scholar once. But their greatest weapon isn't strength. It's their refusal to act like everyone else in the galaxy. The words echoed in Captain Connor's mind as he ducked behind a makeshift barricade, his back pressed against scorched foliage. Energy bolts zipped through the humid air, snapping past his ears and punching smoking holes into the tree trunks. Reynolds, he shouted over the cacophony. Get that damn drone up. I need eyes now. On it, Cap. Reynolds' voice came from the underbrush a few meters to his left, laced with frustration. Connor tapped his comms. Hale, status on those charges. Five minutes, Hale's voice crackled back, assuming Zixer don't eat me before I'm done. Connor exhaled sharply and peeked over the barricade. The insectoid Zixer warriors, each the size of a Terran grizzly, were advancing in jerky, predatory movements. Their carapaces glinted under the artificial sunlight of Galen's terraformed canopy. The Zyxor were built for war. Six legs for speed. Two arm. Like appendages wielding plasma pikes. And compound eyes that glowed a sickly green. Unfortunately for them, their energy shields were useless against human ingenuity. Connor swung his rifle around. A sleek matta black design affectionately nicknamed the Buzz Killer by the squad. Unlike the energy weapons favored by most galactic civilizations, the Buzz Killer relied on good old-fashioned kinetic projectiles. Let's see how you handle this, Connor muttered. The round shot out with a crack, tearing through the creature's shield like it wasn't even there. The Zixer collapsed, green ichor spurting from the crater in its thorax. Captain, Reynolds called. Drones live. I'm patching the feed now. Connor's visor lit up with a tactical overlay as the drone's camera swept over the battlefield. The Zixor were advancing in a classic pincer maneuver. They think they're clever, Connor muttered. Reynolds set up crossfire on the left flank. Hale, when you're done, cover the retreat route. We'll box them in. You make it sound easy. Reynolds grumbled, already repositioning. Connor smirked. It is easy. Just don't screw up. As the team moved into position, Connor fired another shot, dropping a second Zixor. The jungle buzzed with insectoid screeches, a sound halfway between a cicada's drone and nails on a chalkboard. Captain, you ever think about why they scream when they die? Reynolds asked over comms. Maybe it's their way of complimenting my aim, Connor quipped. I'll take that as a no. The banter helped cut through the tension, even as the Zixor pressed their attack. Connor kept firing, methodically thinning their ranks while monitoring his squad's movements. Hail! Report! he barked. Charges set, Hale replied. You want me to blow it now or wait for the dramatic moment? Connor snorted. You've been hanging out with Reynolds too much. Wait for my signal. The Zixer were almost within striking distance when Connor shouted, Fall back to Rally Point Delta. Hail! Detonate on my mark! The squad sprinted through the jungle, weaving between thick vines and jagged rocks. Connor could hear the Zixer skittering after them, their legs crunching leaves and snapping twigs. Hail! On it! A deafening explosion rocked the jungle, followed by a chorus of Zixor screeches. Connor didn't look back. Nice work, Hale. Remind me to get you a drink when we're out of this mess. Make it two, Hale replied. The squad regrouped at the designated point, a small clearing surrounded by dense vegetation. What's the plan, Cap? Reynolds asked, panting. Connor studied the drone feed. The explosion had taken out most of the Zixor, but a smaller group was regrouping, flanking their position. We make a stand here, Connor said. Reynolds, set up a sniper perch. Hail, booby trap, east approach. I'll handle the west. And if they overrun us, Reynolds asked. Connor grinned. They won't. The team moved quickly, setting up their defenses. 
Connor crouched behind a fallen tree, his rifle at the ready. The Zixor emerged moments later, their numbers smaller, but their movements more deliberate. Here they come, Connor muttered. Reynolds, light them up. Reynolds' rifle cracked, and one of the lead Zixor dropped. The rest charged forward, undeterred. Connor fired, each shot finding its mark. The buzzkiller was a brutal equalizer. Every round shredded carapace and sent alien ichor splattering across the jungle floor. Hale's traps triggered with a series of sharp explosions, scattering the east flank. Nice one, Hale, Connor called. Don't thank me yet, Haley replied. Still plenty of bugs to go around. The Zixor continued attack, but the humans held their ground. Connor's arms ached from the constant recoil, but he kept firing, his focus razor sharp. Finally, the last Zixor fell, twitching as green ichor pooled beneath it. The jungle fell silent, save for the labored breathing of the squad. That's what I call pest control, Reynolds said, slinging his rifle over his shoulder. Connor chuckled. Don't get cocky. This was just a skirmish. The main hive's still out there. Great, Hale muttered. More bugs to squish. Connor stood, scanning the horizon. Let's move. The squad moved through the jungle with the fluidity of seasoned soldiers. Each step was deliberate. Each motion designed to avoid unnecessary noise. The terrain was brutal. Thick vines, tangled with jagged rocks, and the air carried the pungent scent of alien flora mixed with the acrid tang of burnt plasma. Anyone else feel like the jungle hates us? Reynolds muttered as he swatted at a cluster of buzzing insects. I think the jungle just hates you specifically, Haley shot back. Lucky, me. Connor ignored the chatter, his focus on the tactical map projected onto his visor. The drone had located the Zyxor hive roughly two clicks northeast, nestled in a cavernous ravine. It was heavily fortified, with sentries stationed at choke points and patrols sweeping the area. All right, listen up, Connor said, bringing the squad to a halt. Hives ahead. Reynolds, I want you to set up overwatch on the southern ridge. Hale, you're with me. We're going to plant charges at the main entrance. If things go sideways, they always go sideways, Reynolds interrupted. Connor shot him a glare. If things go sideways, we regroup at the fallback point. Got it? Got it, Reynolds said, grinning. Hale gave a thumbs up. The squad split up, with Reynolds disappearing into the dense foliage, while Connor and Hale moved toward the hive. The air grew heavier as they approached the jungle's vibrant greens giving way to sickly browns and blacks. Smells like death, Hale muttered, wrinkling his nose. Connor nodded. The Zixor didn't just conquer worlds. They consumed them, stripping planets of resources until nothing remained but barren husks. Galen was next on their menu, unless humanity stopped them. Keep it tight, Connor said. We're in their backyard now. The hive loomed ahead, a grotesque structure of chitin and resin fused with the natural rock. It pulsated faintly, as if alive, and the entrance was flanked by two Zyxor sentries. Two guards, Hale whispered. Think they'll notice if we knock. Connor smirked. Let's not find out. On my mark, we take them down. Quietly. Hale nodded pulling out a knife while Connor lined up a shot with his silenced pistol. Mark. Connor's pistol hissed. The round punching cleaned through one sentry's skull. Hale darted forward, his blade slicing into the second Zyxer's neck before it could react. The bodies hit the ground with a wet thud. Nice work, Connor said. Not bad for a guy who hates bugs, Hale replied. They dragged the bodies into the underbrush before moving into the hive. The interior was even worse than the exterior, a labyrinth of organic tunnels lined with slime, coated walls. The air was thick with a foul stench, 
and the faint sound of clicking echoed from deeper within. Stay close, Connor whispered. They moved cautiously, planting charges at structural weak points as they went. Connor's heart pounded with every step, the tension thick enough to cut with a knife. Suddenly, Haley froze, holding up a fist. What is it? Connor asked. Hale pointed to a shadowy figure ahead. A Zixer drone was patrolling the tunnel, its mandibles clicking rhythmically. Connor gestured for Hale to hold position. He crept forward, knife in hand, and struck, driving the blade into the drone's neck joint. The creature spasmed before collapsing in a heap. Clear, Connor said, motioning for Hale to follow. They continued deeper into the hive, planting the last of the charges near what appeared to be a central support column. Charges set, Hale said. Connor tapped his comms. Reynolds, status. Got eyes on you, Cap, Reynolds replied, and you've got company. Lots of it. Connor's blood ran cold. How many? Too many, Reynolds said. Looks like the hive woke up. You've got about 30 seconds before they're on top of you. Fantastic, Connor muttered. Hail, we're moving. They sprinted back through the tunnels, their boots splashing through pools of viscous slime. The clicking noises grew louder, accompanied by the unmistakable sound of skittering legs. Reynolds, cover us, Connor barked. Already on it, Reynolds replied. The crack of Reynolds' rifle echoed through the jungle as they burst out of the hive's entrance. Behind them, a swarm of Zyxor drones poured out, their compound eyes glowing with fury. Detonate the charges, Connor shouted. Hale fumbled with the detonator, his fingers slick with sweat, almost there. Hale. The detonator beeped, and the charges exploded in a series of deafening blasts. The hive collapsed in on itself, crushing the pursuing drones under tons of rock and debris. The squad regrouped at the fallback point, their breaths coming in ragged gasps. Did we get them all? Reynolds asked, his rifle still trained on the smoldering ruins. Not all, Connor said, but we bought ourselves some time. Great, Hale said, collapsing onto a nearby rock. Time for what? Connor stared at the ruins his jaw set. Time to figure out how to end this war. The squad huddled around a makeshift table in a temporary outpost carved from the jungle. The air still smelled of burnt foliage and alien ichor, a stark reminder of their earlier skirmish. Connor leaned over the holo map, his jaw tight. This isn't sustainable, he said, tapping the projection of the hive's remnants. Blowing up their nest just scatters them. We need a kill switch. Hale snorted, slurping a protein gel from a tube. Unless you've got a magic button labeled destroy all bugs, I don't see that happening. Connor gave him a sharp look. We've got something better. Reynolds, perched on a supply crate, raised an eyebrow. Better than a magic button. Now I'm curious. Connor punched a command into his wrist terminal. The holo map shifted zooming out to reveal a series of underground caverns connecting multiple hives. Zixor hives are all linked by a central neural network, Connor explained. Cut the network and the drones lose coordination. They're not mindless, but they're a lot less dangerous without centralized commands. So, Haley said, we find their router and unplug it. Something like that, Connor replied. Reynolds grinned. All right, I'm in. Where's the big bug brain? Connor adjusted the map, highlighting a cavern system deeper into the jungle. Here. It's heavily guarded, but if we hit it hard and fast, we might pull this off. Might? Hale echoed. Connor shrugged. It's us against an empire of alien murder bugs. Might is the best you're going to get. Hale sighed. Fair enough. Gear up. Connor ordered. We move in 15. The trek to the central hive was grueling. The jungle seemed almost alive, 
with every rustle of leaves and snap of twigs setting the squad on edge. Anyone else feel like we're walking into a trap? Reynolds asked. Always, Hale replied, scanning the trees with his rifle. Doesn't mean we stop walking. Connor didn't respond. He was focused on the mission, replaying the plan in his head. Reach the neural hub, plant the charges, and get out before the whole place turned into an alien blender. Simple, in theory. They reached the hive's outer perimeter as twilight fell, the artificial sun dimming to mimic a natural day-night cycle. The entrance was guarded by a dozen Zixer warriors, their plasma pikes glowing faintly. Reynolds, Connor whispered, you're on overwatch. Take the high ground and thin them out. Hale and I will handle the rest. Roger that, Reynolds said, disappearing into the underbrush. Moments later, the first shot rang out, and one of the Zixer guards collapsed. Chaos erupted as the remaining guards scrambled for cover, their mandibles clicking furiously. Let's move, Connor barked. He and Hale charged forward, their rifles spitting fire. Connor dropped two guards while Hale lobbed a grenade that sent another three flying in a spray of Icor. The remaining guards didn't stand a chance. All clear, Reynolds said over comms. For now. Connor nodded, already moving into the hive. The neural hub was a nightmare made flesh. The cavern was enormous, its walls pulsing with bioluminescent veins that emitted a sickly green glow. At the center stood the hub itself, a towering mass of organic cables and nodules, pulsating like a grotesque heartbeat. Tell me that thing doesn't look alive, Hale muttered. It's not, Connor said, though he wasn't entirely sure. Hale, set the charges. Reynolds, watch our backs. On it, Hale said, pulling a satchel from his pack. Reynolds took position near the entrance, his rifle trained on the tunnel. We've got about five minutes before they realize we're here, he said. Then we'd better hurry, Connor replied. Hale worked quickly, attaching the charges to the base of the hub. Connor kept his rifle ready, scanning the cavern for any signs of movement. I've got a bad feeling about this, Reynolds said. Join the club, Connor muttered. The first wave hit them like a tidal surge. Zixer drones poured into the cavern, their screeches echoing off the walls. Contact, Reynolds shouted, firing into the swarm. Connor and Hale joined the fray, their rifles blazing. Hale, status on those charges, Connor yelled. Two minutes, Haley shouted back, firing a pistol with his free hand. We don't have two minutes, Reynolds snapped, throwing a grenade into the swarm. Connor gritted his teeth, switching to full auto. The buzz killer tore through the drones, but for everyone they killed two more took its place. Hail! Done! Haley shouted, slamming the detonator's safety cap shut. Fall back, Connor ordered. The squad fought their way out of the cavern, the Zixer hot on their heels. Connor could feel the heat of plasma bolts zipping past his head, and the jungle outside seemed impossibly far away. They burst out of the hive just as the charges detonated. The ground shook, and a deafening roar filled the air as the neural hub collapsed. The Zixer drones faltered, their movements becoming erratic and disjointed. Some wandered aimlessly, while others simply stopped moving altogether. Did it work? Hale asked, panting. Connor watched as the remaining drones crumpled one by one. Reynolds let out a whoop of triumph. Hell, yeah. That's how you squash some bugs. Connor smirked. Don't celebrate yet. We've still got a jungle full of them to clean up. Hale groaned. You really know how to ruin a moment, don't you? Part of the job, Connor said, slinging his rifle over his shoulder. Now, let's get out of here before something else decides to kill us. As the squad trekked back through the jungle, Connor allowed himself a rare moment of satisfaction. 
the Zixor were still a threat. But today, humanity had struck a blow they wouldn't soon forget. And tomorrow, they'd strike again.